The Pac-12 media has chosen UCLA as the South Division favorite in a what should be a very tight race uh, amongst one of the most balanced divisions in all of college football there with Arizona, Arizona State, USC, and Utah in particular. We bring in Mike Regalado from Gojo Bruin to help us out with those UCLA Bruins. And, uh, you know, Mike, uh, we talk about it a number of times. There's no question that Jim Mora has raised the level of this program significantly. Now people are wanting to know if it can be raised again. And of course, that elusive Pac-12 championship is still uh, out of reach to date. Yeah, it's going to be a fun, interesting season because UCLA has been a contender all four years. Uh, the first year Mora was uh, was in town, uh, he won the South Division. Didn't uh, win the championship because, you know, Stanford is Stanford and they uh, were, you know, played very tough and UCLA still hasn't beaten Stanford in eight tries. So, you know, that aside, it's a new year. It's there's, there's a lot of buzz, but a lot of question marks because they they lose an offensive coordinator. Noel Mazzoni has gone to Texas A&M. Uh, they lose, they lose uh, eight players to the NFL draft. Um, and there, you know, just a lot of changes. So this year, with uh, with the offense and can new offensive coordinator Kennedy Palomalu implementing a lot more power, and defensive coordinator uh, Tom Bradley going to a four three, you know, trying to bulk up and uh, do something about that run defense. It's it's going to be a slightly different Bruin team to see. So, you know, who, who know, you know, there are a lot of uh, aspects I'm excited about, but there are also a lot of areas which, you know, are questionable. Well, there you go. There gets us, that gets us started right there. So Josh Rosen, ever since he stepped on campus, has been the face of the program. He's the franchise quarterback. He lived up to expectations. Sure, he 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 took a few hits here and there uh, through eleven interceptions, but he performed very well, and that progression should continue. He is an elite quarterback. So let's take him as a given. Who else on the offense uh, you think needs to step up? Who are some of those key guys that are going to make? Uh, the season special for UCLA if they come through. Um, the the running backs especially. You know they lost. Uh, God, I forget the number. Seventy percent of their <laughs> uh, uh, pass uh, pass catching. Uh, and Thomas Warde, uh, Jordan Payton, and Devin Fuller. Uh, those guys are gone to the NFL. So who's going to uh, step up in their place? You know there are a lot of young guys. Ishmael Adams, Theo Howard, Darren Andrews. He was he was a major factor last year. He was one of the top uh, five receivers uh, on the team. So he's going to uh, most likely be starting. And it's they're deep, inexperienced, but they are deep. So that's going to be fun watching them try to mesh with uh, Rosen. But I'm really excited about the running backs. Um, a three headed monster basically. So so Jamabo, uh, Nate Starks, and Bolu Olerunfumi. They each have their own. Uh, styles, talents. Uh, I'm sure Kennedy Palomalu is going to use them for specific um, plays, especially since, uh, like I said, he's doing a lot more power formations. So um, just watch the running game, the running game, the running backs of UCLA. They're going to be fun. Mike, everybody knows about Miles Jack moving on to the NFL early. He was the name on defense that everybody associated because he became kind of a freak uh, sideshow early because him being able to run the football as well as play great linebacker. But he's even more valuable than that uh, in, in what he was able to do at linebacker. But of course, he was lost for about two thirds to three quarters of the season last year. So on a defense, Andy, Eddie Vanderdose is back. Um, what are you looking for there? Who are some of those guys, again, just like the offensive analysis, need to come through to get you to a Pac-12 championship game? Uh, the defensive ends uh, to start. Uh, Tackers McKinley, is he, he's been improving. Every, should be a superstar this year. Uh, I ex expect him to have a, a breakout season. Uh, the other side, uh, you know, it was, uh, there was also going to be a battle between Deion Hollins and uh, Keyshawn Lucy yourself. Um, so whoever emerges from that, although, uh, it's a tiny injury report, um, um, sorry, I'm blanking. Can you edit this? You're good. What did I just say? We know you get a lot of names to remember. Yeah. So, um, I can always take this out too. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I'm totally blanking. Who, who are you looking for? I got a, I got a, uh, the defensive end defensive sheet up. Deion me. Hollins. Okay. Yeah, and so Deion Hollins, a small injury report, he uh, has a concussion, so he's not going to be uh, playing this uh, in this game. But uh, the the, just the secondary is fantastic. All four positions are locked down. They're at least two or three deep in uh, at, at the secondary positions. But what's going to be 
really fun to see are the young guys who got a lot of experience last year at linebacker when Miles Jack went down, uh, when they were trying to fill, fill that void. Uh, Isako Savinea, uh, Jayon Brown, the leading tackler, he came out of nowhere to fill up uh, th that void left by Jack. And uh, uh, Kenny Young and Josh Woods. So they have a lot of uh, running backs to uh, uh, mix and match. You know, a lot of guys with talent. There, there's a there's a depth issue there, but for the most part, they they should be uh, pretty good. Especially since UCLA might be shifting to a four three or maybe a two back set with uh, you know nickel defense. But you know, we'll, we'll see about that. Yeah, Brown with 93 tackles. You mentioned him leading the uh, the the Bruins on defense with two tackles for loss as well. Young had 69 total tackles, tie five tackles for loss. Uh, you mentioned McKinley and Hollins, who's going to miss the opener. Hollins had four and a half tackles for loss, two and a half sacks. McKinley in the backfield 10 plus times with sacks and tackles for loss as well. So a lot of production there coming back. But guys that aren't superstars but impact players but could break through uh, for the Bruins in 2016. Man, this schedule is tough. And I don't know, Mike, we talked about it before we came on. I don't know who you've been talking to who said this is not a difficult schedule because <laughs> – I don't see a lot of soft touches in here. Yeah, it's it's it it's pretty brutal from the get go. At Texas A and M, you know, come back home for UNLV, finish up that home and home, and then at BYU, it's like, you know, <laughs> why would you start a season like that? <laughs> but I understand what Mora wants to do. He wants to play some uh, good opponents, quality opponents, uh, in the non conference season. Um, and he, you know, he wants his team to get tough. He wants them to play against some proper competition. But then immediately going into Pac-12 play, Stanford, a team they haven't beaten in eight tries. Uh, luckily, it's at the Rose Bowl. So, you know, m you know, with uh, Stanford losing a few guys on the offensive line and their uh, quarterback, Kevin Hogan, uh, this might be a chance for, you know, the, the Bruins to pounce a little bit. But, uh, you know, then they have uh, the Arizona uh, schools, Arizona and Arizona State, who, you know, hopefully – they handle them. The, those two schools aren't, haven't been doing as well as they uh, have, you know, two or three seasons ago. Um, and then at Washington State. Now, personally, I don't think UCLA uh, is going to win this. I think Washington State has really improved under Mike Leach. Uh, it's it's going to be a good game, but I think it's going to be uh, pretty tough for the Bruins too. Uh, thank God it's not in November. You know, that would, <laughs> that would make things worse. And then uh, then Utah. It, that's always a battle. Um, it's here at the Rose Bowl. Uh, last time Utah was here was that uh, ten sack debacle and a, a missed uh, field goal. <laughs> um, so that that that's, uh, still uh, is in Bruin fans' memory. So uh, that's going to be a really tough game. Yeah, it's definitely a front-loaded schedule with Texas A&M and BYU, both games on the road for UCLA in the first three weeks. And then, wow, like Mike talked about there, Stanford, Arizona, Arizona State, Washington State, Utah, a tough five-game stretch in the Pac-12. Then it eases up considerably with the two lesser teams at the Pac-12, Colorado and Oregon State. Of course, USC is a late season game not the last game on thanksgiving weekend like it should be usc ucla that makes sense that's what it's been traditionally but the bruins uh, finish up at cal against the golden bears mike regalado from gojo bruin helping us break down ucla season here in uh, 2016.